congratulations just first of all it's great to catch up with you again Lee. You too. <laughs> thank you this thank is very you. exciting <laughs> so you're inducted um you're now a legend in the new south wales hall of champions and just a few months ago or a bit early in the year you were inducted as a legend in the sport australia hall of fame which yes. are both massive achievements so thank you are a double legend which you said earlier i am a legend squared <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean i guess as a woman and just also as a surfer to be kind of now accepted into this like huge group of other people look i never i never set out to be accepted by the sporting world <laughs> so i probably should have changed my phrasing no, a bit okay. what does it mean to be like now yeah. as a legend what, I mean, what does it mean to be recognized in this yeah, way <laughs> it it means you know at first i didn't know what it actually meant but now it means being considered to be one of the greatest athletes in Australia, you know, alongside people like Kathy Freeman, Margaret Margaret Court, uh, Yvonne Gulagong, Donald Bradman, Dawn Fraser, like all these athletes that I all, I looked up to and just and was just so inspired by in the early stages of my surfing career, and to now be sitting alongside them, you know, it's kind of gives me goosebumps. It's uh, pretty, it's pretty remarkable. I wanted to ask about what you were saying up on stage before in that yes. room, where yes. you said that um, t titles two to six were kind of driven by fear. Yeah. What did that kind of mean, that they were driven by fear? Well, what it meant was that I was just so desperate to win that um, everything that I did was was wrapped up, like everything I felt, like everything was just wrapped up in whether I won or lost. And so I had like this real victimised mentality that if I wasn't, winning I was losing and so those fear-based world titles took a lot out of me they had this win at all cost mentality I was tagged as having the compassion of a tiger shark because I was so ferocious in my in my desperation to win so uh, that uh, took a lot out of me and uh, and now in my 50s I'm in constant pain management because I didn't honor my body through that process I wanted to ask about a bit about your career and just I guess what you stand for a well with, as well which is like equality with women and men's sport yep. because you were kind of competing at a time when female surfers, some of them dressed up as boys because they thought that they would get, I guess, more approval and they would be taken more seriously. Yes. But I guess you'd be the judge of that. And they were <laughs> kind of put on during times when there weren't as good waves yes. and they didn't really have many sponsors. Yeah. How hard was it just trying to be taken seriously in those times? It was very, very challenging to be taken seriously by the industry, by the governing body, by our male counterparts, even by each other. We had a scarcity mentality and that was uh, reaffirmed just by how little that we had and, and we were just all clawing for that little bit that could potentially get us all ahead of each other. And, and it was at a time where uh, women's surfing really lacked identity and presence and respect and we we collectively had to go through a lot of battles to break that down and even within our own minds within our own self-worth you know we had to embrace femininity and embrace our, embrace our beauty and embrace the power that women bring to the world and embrace our genuine difference I think we were just so desperate to earn the recognition and respect of men that we thought if we behaved like one we'd receive that and in actual fact that worked against us. But I guess now it's great because you and the other women that have kind of paved the way, like now we have more statues recognising female athletes like Betty Cuthbert and Sherelle McMahon and even you being inducted into the um, Surfing Walk of Fame in California. And I was also just really inspired by that. Why is it so important to kind of have more of these statues and have more of these women recognised? We've all heard the classic cliche, if you can't see it, you can't be it. And when women see other women succeed, it makes them believe that they can do it too. So we need more female trailblazers, more pioneers, more women willing to shatter that glass ceiling and pave the way for future generations, for young women like you who see it and go, I can be it. How do you think, or do you think that the World Cup and all the Matildas' success has kind of, I guess, came into that, showing girls that they can really just, they can't be what they can't see? 100%. And you know what, I never really subscribed to that belief until after the World Cup. I used Because I became something that no one was able to see. I became a six times consecutive world champion. No other athlete had done that in my sport. But when the Matildas shattered every ceiling you can imagine in the game of sport, uh, it inspired a movement and it inspired and ignited the hearts and souls of so many people irrespective of gender, irrespective of sport, irrespective of skill. It inspired people to go out there and pursue their dreams because the only limitations we have in life are the ones we place on ourselves.
And just last, like I mentioned before, it's really inspiring for me and my generation and just this current surfing generation to have so many amazing female surfers leading the way like Sally Fitzgibbons, Molly Picklum, India Robinson. How exciting is that? It's incredibly exciting. You know, I, I, I was there for the start of Sally's career and uh, Molly Picklum won the Lane Beachley Award at my talent identification camp and Isabella Nichols has is, is, uh, always been part of the whole Surfing Australia culture and, and high performance movement and the likes of Tyler Wright and Stephanie Gilmore and Laura Anover. I mean, we've just got such incredible depth of talent, even Macy Callahan. you know, so many incredible young women. Fills me with immense pride and satisfaction to know that these girls are paving the way for the next generation. Thank you so much, Lane. Congratulations and thanks for being an inspiration. Thank you. <laughs>